Eighteen years ago, Dr. Danielle Beluccio, director of the Oral HCG Research Center, developed for the first time the oral form of HCG, becoming a pioneer in the treatment of obesity through said method. From this moment, the Oral HCG Research Center has become the leading center for research, scientific and academic development, as well as the execution of double-blind studies pertinent to the subject and the training of the medical community of the world. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Daniel Beluccio from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I am the medical director of the Oral HCG Research Center here in Buenos Aires. And I would like to address in this video some issues regarding the subject of obesity and the use of HCG for obesity treatment. As you already know, obesity and associated morbidities are creating a major health problem in human societies and there is no relief in sight. However, 60 years ago, a practical and effective approach to the disease was put forward by a British physician living in Italy, Dr. A.T.W. Simeons. Concerning obesity, he was the first scientist who suggested that the cause for the disease lies in the hypothalamus and not in the mouth or the stomach. His conclusions were ignored for about 60 years and it was to the merit of Kevin Trudeau after his book, The Weight Loss Cure, that the subject came back it, uh, again into public consideration. Since then, an increased and disproportionate interest on the use of ACG for obesity treatment appeared on many mass media, including the internet. As a consequence, Many fancy presentations of HCG, such as HCG protein shakes or HCG creams, have been proposed. Other websites promote radical modifications to the original protocol without any substantiation for the proposed changes. It is my duty, after strictly following Simeon's method for over 20 years and have it uh, added after careful research the now popular sublingual formulation of ACG to clarify and debunk some myths regarding ACG and obesity. The first myth is the ACG method for obesity treatment is a medical procedure that can cure obesity, resetting the hypothalamus and allowing all types of food after the treatment. Please let me explain what we do with the ACG method for weight loss. We provide a safe, time-tested, reliable and effective method for obesity treatment. We can guarantee our patients that weight loss will be accomplished at the expense of fat and not lean mass. And we can reassure our patients they will feel fine throughout the entire treatment period. But What we don't do with the ACG method for weight loss, except for a very few cases, is we do not cure obesity, we do not reset the hypothalamus, and we do not allow any type of foods after the treatment. Second myth. The ACG protocol is an unsafe and unreliable method for obesity treatment, and the use of ACG displays many side effects. In Simeon's Pound and Inches, he stated that 125 international units of ACG should be applied daily. On the other hand, the daily production of ACG during pregnancy exceeds the amount of 300,000 international units daily. Here we have then 125 international units against 300,000. The conclusion is that no harm can be done when applying such a small dose. Third myth, the scale is a useful tool to assess the efficacy of an obesity treatment. As you can see, both individuals display the same weight as seen on the scale. However, the amount of body fat on the man on the left is considerably less than that on the right. The conclusion is then, body fat and not body weight is the hallmark of obesity. The scale 
is not a good device to estimate obesity. Weight loss should not be taken as an assessment tool for the disorder. The fourth myth is exercising and stop gorging yourself are the most effective tools for obesity treatment. However, the incidence and prevalence of obesity have dramatically increased over the past years. Thus, it seems that the motto, stop gorging and exercise, were not effective to control the disease. The fifth myth is overeating always results in weight gain. These are the conclusions from one of the most reputed investigators in the field of obesity. Overeating does not always bear a direct relationship to weight increase. And the sixth myth is obesity is a psychological disorder characterized by anxiety, gluttony, and or greed. Therefore, psychotherapy or behavior therapy can provide relief to the disease. As you can see, the afferent signals, sight, smell, taste, go directly into the hypothalamus or diencephalon. Thus, the brain cortex, our conscious part of the brain, neither plays a role in this neuronal pathway nor can exert any influence. Just as you cannot consciously control your heartbeat or your thyroid function, you cannot control the mechanism leading to fat accumulation or release. What happens after you eat a dessert does not depend on your willpower. If any subtle hypothalamic lesion exists, you will gain fat. Because the disorder responsible for obesity genesis is located below the brain cortex. Therefore, no amount of psychological support may help a obese patient. It is not a psychological issue, it is a regulatory issue. If you would like to learn more regarding the oral HCG method or about opening a treatment center for obesity under this rigorous methodology and scientific base, we invite you to register in the following website exclusively for the medical community www.oralhcg.com